What is going on guys? Welcome back to my channel. This is Darian with Darian the Dev. And in this video, we're going to talk about five ways to get funding for your startup. If you guys are new to the channel, I help non-technical people get into coding. And on the channel, we talk about everything from coding, tech, startups, entrepreneurship, all that good stuff. So if that sounds like something you guys are interested in, make sure you like share and subscribe it really helps me stay motivated to keep making videos for you guys i wanted to talk about some ways to get startup funding because i think a lot of people think that to get funding for a startup you got to go to silicon valley and you got to pitch a bunch of investors and you have to get five hundred thousand dollars or two hundred thousand dollars before i jump into the five things really quickly i know you guys are wondering like dude what qualifies you to tell us how to get funding for a startup so <laughs> so as a lot of you guys probably know i do have my own edtech startup i have not made a full-blown video on it yet but it is on the way i just want to present it in the right way to you guys to get you know maximum feedback and interaction and engagement on it and i've been doing that since 2015 so i've got about four years of running an edtech startup and then in 2017 i actually got my very first grant for five thousand dollars from a university here in michigan to actually you know put towards my startup and so that is the reason why i wanted to make this video guys because i do have a startup i have gone through the process i've tried the investor route i've, I've done all these things I've, I've written grants and got the grants so i just want to share a little bit of my experience and thoughts on different ways that i see entrepreneurs going about getting funding for their tech startup the first thing or the first way to get funding for your startup is the one that i just mentioned which is grants all right and the reason why i think that's so important is because every state is different and every state has different organizations and there's endless grant money out there if you look for it guys trust me and believe me when i tell you that every industry every every sector has some sort of grant money whether that is a nonprofit grant or it's something through the state there are so many just initiatives that are out there that you might not even know exist right now until you do all the necessary research in your state and in your industry but you'll never know until you guys get out there and actually network or do your research online or both and um find out what is available in your state in your industry for whatever you're trying to do because there's so many different ways to leverage grants to get money guys in certain you know sometimes people have discretionary funds um like you just there's just no way of knowing so in my case i was able to go through a, an accelerator program here in michigan that was partnered with a university and i was in the process of applying for a state grant and then found out that they had a discretionary fund that would basically cover the expenses that i had and they were it was an easier process to get the discretionary funds than it was to continue writing the grant and then waiting for the state to approve the grant and all those different things. So like, but I would have never found that out had I not gone to this accelerator, partnered with them, put my product in front of them, told them what I was working on, sought out the funding and through their programs and tried to write that state grant. I wouldn't have ever found out they had a discretionary fund to even give me anything if I wouldn't have been trying to get that grant. So the point is, guys, do your research, go out there, look in your sector, in your state, look for all the different organizations, nonprofits, accelerator programs, colleges, whatever. Just look for any organization that has something related to your industry, what you're doing, and see if they have any grants available and go after them. Start talking to people about that. Do your research into people that have applied for it in the past or whatever you have to do, the people who like are the gatekeepers for writing this grant? Who do you need to push the paperwork to or through? I mean, literally just do as much research as possible and don't don't just write grants off. You do not need investment money if you can go get grants because a lot of the times grants are free money. And trust me, you'd much rather have free money than investor money. So grants, number one, grants. The second thing is gonna be accelerators. So obviously that kind of ties into the first thing I said because I got my grant through an accelerator. So the accelerator programs, a lot of times they will give out some sort of funding to the startups that they accept into their accelerator. So if you get it, let's say that they're taking, you know, 10 companies in their cohort and each company is going to get a $15,000 seed funding. And, um, usually from what I've seen in that situation, the accelerator is not just giving you that money as a grant and that's why i'm saying that 
accelerators are <laughs> in a different category than the grants are because the accelerator from my experience usually is gonna take like one to five percent of the company in exchange for like mentorship you know once you graduate or intros to investors or something it could be a convertible note in certain cases and if you don't know what a convertible note is guys you know just go hit up google uh it's a topic for a separate video but they usually want something in return it's usually not just given to you not to say that they won't ever be because i do know some accelerators that actually do give away like twenty five thousand dollars grants but i'm just saying that more often than not i believe that accelerators that give out money are also taking a percentage of the company so it's similar to an investor but they usually have a more focused niche or you know uh purpose that they back and they have a network of people up around that so let's say it's a automotive accelerator those people are obviously going to favor automotive or transportation startups and then their network is going to benefit companies that fall under the automotive umbrella if that makes sense so you know that is the benefit of an accelerator against just a singular investor or vc firm or something like that is i feel like they're they're focused on helping entrepreneurs with a certain mission or goal and they built an entire support network around that mission and focus so it's almost like you get that special kind of attention in your startup from being in these accelerators so i think that that is the benefit even if they do take one and three percent or whatever if you go through the accelerator to get funding i think that it still comes with a lot of perks i've gone through two accelerators myself again topics for different videos but i would say that it's not all bad if you take money from the accelerator but if you can get grant funding still go with that first because it's free you don't have to pay it back but accelerator funding is also a great way of getting funding for your startup all right so the third thing guys is going to be crowdfunding so this is something that a lot of people know about through kickstarter and um you know gofundme or whatever but these things have blown up in popularity because of all the crazy stories that we see where somebody you know something terrible or whatever happens and someone gets they raise three hundred thousand dollars or something on on gofundme whatever the case is and that looks a lot easier said than done when you see it online on tv wherever we hear these stories that's not to say that crowdfunding is not a realistic and very plausible way to raise money without necessarily going super deep in the equity hole so with crowdfunding you know there's a lot more that comes with it you know obviously your purpose has to be very clear very direct you have to know how to market your whole campaign you have to know what benefits you're trying to give to your customers or to people why they should care how you're going to deliver that to them how you're going to get people to give them your their money for your idea how you're going to deliver it to them like there's just so many questions that go into things like that when you run a a, a crowdfunding campaign but the beauty about it though is that you know these people are not taking equity usually out of your company you're just giving them something in exchange whether that's like early access to the product or you're giving them something for free or i don't know like you know i've seen a lot of crazy stuff on you know gofundmes that they do once you give like five thousand dollars and all this other stuff so like whatever you decide is valuable to the people who are going to be donating to you uh, you know, you can figure out how that works for your product or your business, but it's just the fact that you need to understand that that's what you're going to have to do. You're going to have to market that. You're going to have to really hit the real pain points for these people so that they actually contribute to your campaign and you hit your goal. But I still think it's very worth doing and there's a lot of different platforms online. It's not just Kickstarter and GoFundMe anymore. There's a lot of different ways to do like community-based crowdfunding, to do mission-based crowdfunding, like nonprofit based crowdfunding like there's there's so many different types of crowdfunding you can do now that i would say it's just as plausible to go the crowdfunding route as it is to go the accelerator or the grant route so definitely keep that one in mind the fourth thing is uh, is interesting it might it might be very specific to what type of industry you work in but it's events and so what that means or what i'm saying there is if you can host some sort of event, it doesn't have to be like super upscale or anything crazy. Um, and again, this is very specific to you as a person, as an entrepreneur, as the business owner and whatever industry you guys are in, whatever makes sense. So don't take my word as like holy grail or anything like that. But whatever makes sense for you guys, I mean, some sort of event 
where you could bring interested potential customers, uh, users, whatever, into an event that surrounds what they're interested in or their goals they're trying to accomplish. If you can create some sort of networking environment or something meaningful for them to attend and go to, I think that could be a great way to you know charge and make a little bit of profit and gain interest while also giving value back to you know this loyal warm market of people that are interested in whatever this is that you're delivering to them it takes a little bit more work because you it might you know take money in order to make money in that sense it might take you money to sponsor and put on this event but if everything is priced out properly you could make money back that you could then reinvest into the business and things like that so it all just depends on you as the business owner and how you want to look at it but i think events is a great way of thinking about, you know, outside the box ways of still bringing money through the door to, you know, funnel back into your business. Last one, I'm not gonna spend too much time on guys. It's just family and friends because at the end of the day, we all need support. And if you can't ask your family and friends to help support your business, how are you gonna go out and ask random strangers and investors and pitch them confidently? So at some point, you know, even if it's not necessarily a financial, um, you know, interest, you're gonna have to ping your family and friends at some point to just get thoughts on your idea or let them know what you're working on see if they have anybody they can introduce you to and in that sense a family and friends round is a very natural part of most startups where the founders put up and maxed out all the money that they can do and now they need their friends and family to believe in them and add a little bit more on top so they can get to that next level so remember that too guys you know the friends and family round is is very important and don't be too you know prideful to ask your friends and family if it comes down to that if you truly believe in what you're doing don't swindle your family members out of their hard-earned money of course but you guys get the point here <laughs> anyways guys i hope you guys enjoyed that let me know what you thought about my five ways of getting funding for your startup let me know if that's helpful if you guys have thought of some other ways of doing it or if i could think of some better ways i am definitely open if you guys know other and better ways of getting funding for startups i would be open to whatever suggestions you guys have so leave them down in the comment section below for me guys and again if you're like a new developer thinking about going to a boot camp check out my freebie section down below i'm giving away my free intro to coding boot camp course where i put everything in there i wish i learned going into coding boot camp you guys can check that out at daringthedev.thinkific.com and let me know what you guys think about that and there's also a lot more stuff down in the free resources section so make sure you guys check that out in the description box but Again, make sure you guys like, share, subscribe. I appreciate you guys for watching. Again, this is Darian with Darian the Dev, and I'll see you in the next video, all right? Peace.